Thanks, Ashley. Inside This Week in History, all of us live through events that are important in our own lives, but won't make it into the history books. However, a year ago, we all experienced two events that will be in the history books. One, of course, was COVID, and I've reported on that anniversary previously. The other event, the first time in history, our capital was attacked by Americans. Today is the day American patriots start taking down names and kicking Alabama Congressman Mo Brooks says he did not intend to incite the crowd to actual violence down the street at the Capitol later that day. Likewise, President Donald Trump says his words did not incite the crowd to violence. But we do know that violence occurred. We do know that it's the first time the Capitol building was attacked. Well, the first time since the British burned it in 1814. In that case, the building was empty. We were at war and Congress had literally run for their lives. But a year ago, the entire Congress was right there, doing what the Constitution specifically commands them to do, count the electoral votes. Then the mob rushed in and stood in the House chamber. 80 years earlier, President Roosevelt stood in the same spot. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked. Of course, Roosevelt was referring to the Japanese bombing of Pearl Harbor. That attack, like the one by the British, was not done by Americans. And a year ago, after Congress was chased from the building, the representatives returned later that night. The 12th Amendment states, quote, the President of the Senate shall, in the presence of the Senate and House of Representatives, open all the certificates and the votes shall then be counted. The President of the Senate is the Vice President. Mike Pence announced the vote count and concluded with these words. To those who wreaked havoc in our capital today, you did not win. Freedom wins. And this is still the people's house. Art, it reminds me there was an assault on a politician inside the Capitol building once before. That was in the mid 1800s. And the attack came not from an angry mob, but from a U.S. House member. He went on to the Senate floor and used a cane to beat Senator Charles Sumner almost to death. Ironically, January 6th happens to be Sumner's birthday. That is ironic indeed, Scott, and many saw January 6th as an attack on democracy, but as you, we heard in your report from then Vice President Mike Pence, he said to those involved, you did not win, freedom wins. Well, I talked with former Senator Doug Jones, who was there, and he's talking about the future of bringing this nation together. He says that's where we should be at this point. Yeah. Couldn't agree more, Art. I hope it happens. All right, Scott, thanks a lot. Thanks for that look back to over the one year. Thank you so much. Thanks, Art. Take care. All right, you too.